Chronic trauma can lead to ADHD-like symptoms. Let me explain. The brain's job is to protect you from pain, and one way it does that is through dissociation, mentally tuning out when something feels overwhelming. Now, ADHD is often linked to trouble focusing, but what if that difficulty isn't just ADHD? Imagine a child whose parent constantly yells at them for making mistakes. They can't fight back, they can't leave, so their brain adapts, it blocks it out. This is a mini dissociation, and for that moment, it works. The stress dulls, the noise fades. But the brain doesn't just do this with yelling, it starts tuning out everything. Schoolwork, conversations, responsibilities, even things they actually care about. This is how trauma can mimic or worsen ADHD symptoms, and when someone struggles to focus, misses deadlines, and falls behind, the brain shifts from avoidance to anxiety, constantly feeling that pressure to catch up. The pressure starts chipping away at their self-esteem. The thought of starting feels overwhelming, they procrastinate, they doubt themselves, and eventually, depressive episodes can follow. Mental health isn't just a list of symptoms. One struggle feeds another, creating a cycle that feels impossible to break. The good news, when people begin processing their trauma, the other symptoms often start to naturally alleviate.